Blessings, everyone. It's time to enhance and amplify our creative and manifestation abilities beyond the realms of thought and the mental processes. Join me Sunday, May 31st at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, U.S. and Canada, for a two-hour webinar where I will be talking about the very dynamics and mechanics of spiritual creation, setting the inner state and outer stages for success, troubleshooting miscreations and blocks. You can sign up by going to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can simply follow the links below and sign up at the Crowdcast webinar link provided in the description bar. It's time to create like an adept. Hey there, Gemini. It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com. Or you may also simply go ahead and follow the links below. And the same applies for those of you who want to sign up for the upcoming manifestation webinar we talked about in the opening clip. And for those of you who enjoy the incoming waves, that is up on my main channel page. And of course, you can always click on my avatar to go there or go to its own playlist. I also have links in the down bar below, as I always do. So what is going on when it comes to your incoming week, this coming seven days? Well, with the temperance card upright, it does look like there is actually a, there, there's a sense of sort of an integration or incorporation into the new. And it's kind of interesting because the way this temperance card is feeling to me, I'm not seeing two things from two separate areas or separate occurrences blending together in the middle, but I'm actually seeing a slow and steady pouring of you into a new environment, into a new world, into a new reality. And this integration will be occurring right out the gate with this week, even though it's a holiday week and there's lots of stuff going on in the world, you know, a lot can be done digitally, a lot can be done on paper. So there is this still slow and steady integration in progress. Now this blending I feel is also going to be bringing a whole new cast of characters and a whole lot of new environmental influences for you to play with. But it's not this shocking, jarring transition. This is something that is actually happening in a portioned way. This is something that's going to be portion by portion by portion as we go throughout this week. And you may be noticing that this is actually very fun. It's very easy. Even if it seemed like a daunting task or the idea sounds a bit intimidating, with the Temperance card, what we are doing is we are essentially pouring our life out of one timeline and into a completely different one. But that could actually that'd be very, very fun. And that would actually be something that I think a lot of you would relish and enjoy at this point in time because the Temperance card is ultimately delivering you to a space that is promising more health, more wealth, more than what you could get if you tried to keep extracting it from what you have. In fact, as we get to the Queen of Cups for your material concerns, we actually see somebody offering their services to you in a way that is actually going to be providing you with either a new material or financial opportunity, or maybe even a new work or employment opportunity, a new role, a new project you could take a part in. Because the Queen of Cups is offering you something that seems small in the beginning, but actually will become a new long-term commitment that continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on. And this feels as though this is a very personal passion to the Queen of Cups. This is somebody who is very proud of their work. This provides them with a great deal of meaning, a great sense of meaning. And I feel like a lot of you Gemini people are being specially selected or specially chosen to actually come along this adventure with them. What I'm also seeing is that because the Queen of Cups is so diligent and so careful here, this is something that the success that the Queen of Cups has had is self-evident in the Queen of Cups. If so if you're curious about this project itself or this financial source itself or this job itself, this is somebody who is very personal, very personable, and somebody who does not hide behind airs. They don't hide behind 
pretense. They don't hide behind the plastic, look at me and my wonderful life. I'm so inspirational. Don't you want to be like me? In case you guys really wanted to know how I feel about inspirational lifestyle gurus. <laughs> there you go. That's a taste. This is somebody who's actually bringing their heart to bear to you and showing you something that is actually a true passion project for them that has worked for them. And it's going to be something they would like to introduce into your life as well. Whether this is something that they are bringing on the professional or financial front remains to be seen. As we get to your social affairs, your social connections, your friends and family, well, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. And something that you have been maybe trying to get off the ground is in the process of finally getting built. Now, if you have been maybe in a circumstance where you and a friend or maybe you and a family member or maybe even just something that you've been trying to kind of get done for you and your own household has just been sort of stuck on paper or something that has been sort of stuck on the drawing board, the Four of Wands reversed is showing us that it's starting to actually substantiate. It's starting to manifest. This could be some news coming your way that you might need to be dedicating some time this week to answer the call, to go check things out, to kindly, you know, put in your energy, put in your effort, or even now this project or something that's been out of your hands now has room and need for you to participate in its own process, in its own growth process. The good news about this is, is that even though it's reversed, the Four of Wands reversed is always about the setup. It's always about plans finally coming together and starting to take shape. It's just a, happening a little bit before something is ready for a debut. In my tarot home study course and my classes that I teach, I always tell people that the Four of Wands reversed can be seen as the setup for the reception or the banquet or the, the wedding reception. We're cooking, we're putting out all of the tablecloths and the silver and we're setting the table and we're taking in the deliveries for all the decorations and everything like that. It's all coming together. As we get to the emotional side of things, the romantic side of things, we have the Ace of Cups upright. And a lot of you Gemini people are going to be finding that there is a moment where somebody actually musters up the courage to actually share something very deep, something very affectionate, very personal with you that I think is also their way of opening up to show you that they have some romantic or intimate interest in you. So for those of you who are single, it may be something that a person decides to open up and share that might seem very vulnerable, very, very personal, but it is sort of their way of taking down their own walls for you this week. And with the Ace of Cups, it's done gracefully. You know, it's not a car crash of emotions on the first date or anything like that. It's done with grace. It's done with articulation. It's done in a way that is actually conducive to establishing a nice, healthy, emotional start to a potential romance. For those of you who are currently in an established relationship, the Ace of Cups upright is indicating that still such a gesture will come this way through your existing partner, but it looks as though your partner is trying to dig extra deep in order to make this happen. So it may even feel like your partner is bringing out a side of themselves that you haven't seen for a long time or maybe you've never seen before. But with the Ace of Cups, it actually has to do with a wall coming down, something that they may have kind of kept personal, kept under protection, is now being made vulnerable to be shared with you. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.